people will say or are you actually figuring out who to go to to filter what people say people how are we all it's monday so it's another week of vlogmas so how are we all hey well you're actually watching this on sunday so the whole week's been but i hope you had a great week it's the start of the week for me i've just been shooting some content this morning that i needed to do yeah i actually woke up feeling like a bit crappy like a bit i went to bed quite late last night i couldn't sleep and um i woke up feeling a bit crappy like with low self-esteem and just i've got a hair on my lip just not feeling great about myself so i kind of um listened to some podcasts and i'll put the podcast down below that i listened to that um, i really enjoyed pet me back up sometimes you just need a pep talk um yeah i feel like i get really anxious like around uploading these days i don't know why i feel like it's just so many people's like opinions and stuff like that and i've just been through it this year like i want to like actually talk about this in the end of year video maybe like a, a catch up of like what i thought of the year yeah like earlier in the year i've gone through a real journey this year that i feel like no one actually knows about with social media and stuff like that and like my own self-worth and shit like that um yeah like i i just get really anxious like because i'm just scared of getting hate which sounds ridiculous because it's like listen not everyone can like you and not everyone will like you like can you imagine everyone in the world trying to make them like you it's impossible um and obviously i do focus on the people that resonate with me and like me and i love all of you so much but i just like get anxious because i just know there's going to be people that are like waiting to like comment something nasty or like press the dislike button but I'm getting through that and I feel like it's a process of like getting through it and I've, all them things but earlier in the year I was really like in a bad place with it because yeah like I just found this like thread where people just like spouting hate and anyway I don't want to talk about it on here because I actually don't want to pay it any attention but maybe in the end of your video I'll talk about it but I feel like that really affected me as well as like a load of other shit that like my self-esteem went down because like when i had depression and stuff like that i feel like my self-esteem was really low um so it just takes time to like build it back up again and i'm very impatient so i expect everything to happen overnight so yeah so sometimes i just have low self-esteem days so today was one of those days but you know what i reeled it in and i thought you know what let me just do my routine do all this stuff i washed my hair this morning and it's looking cute you guys never seen my hair down because i just can't be off of it but I really want to make an effort to actually wear it down more because it is nice. Yeah, I did all my routine. I thought, let me just listen to these podcasts just to, you know, get some positive affirmations and thoughts in my head. And I listened to them and I felt like, obviously, I'm not cured, but like I feel a lot better. So, yeah, I'll put them in the description box. But today, I'm about to go to my um, work right now. And hopefully, my nephew will be there. And I'm going to see my nephew. I'm not going to show him on camera because my brother um is not he doesn't want any part of this world and they don't show my nephew on camera so i'll see you later i need to shoot a picture and this that where we work it's ugly it's offensive it's the ugliest place you could ever take a picture so we're gonna go on an excursion there's not many like this I, we live in a very scenic area but it's not you've got to travel it's not for instagram it. pics is it really yeah. it's not for walks lovely walk. for walks uh so we're gonna try and venture out and try and find somewhere where i can take a picture because i need to send them off so they can get approved so that i can upload them this is the reality isn't it it is this is the reality but we're gonna go to the post office at the same time if it's not too busy Oh, you've done it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, I didn't wait in line today. I didn't fuck about. All right, so let's. All right, I'm going to head out. Have you got your key out? You take your key, so we're going to go and try and take a picture. Did a bird? She's 
she do be It's cute. a plane. <laughs> she do be cute though. It's the fact we've come out here just to take one picture. It's actually not far though, is it's it? It's not far. Five Look minutes. at her. This can be the thumbnail. No. <laughs> It's actually really cute. Look at it. Stunning, darling. We got the shot, I think. I think this is going to be the shot. <laughs> the fact. The fact we went to all this effort, but it's just like, you got to do what you've got to do. You feel me? Right now, I need to... Um, I need to just go over some stuff, send some stuff to my manager that I shot this morning. Do some customer service. I'm actually gonna read some comments on the vlog as well. Hey, where's the squeegee? I need that squeegee. Well, I need this squeegee. Well, I gave you my other one. Is it worth it or not? Well, that just looks ugly. <laughs> What's wrong with your old slippers? They're not got a thick enough sole so they, keep my, they don't keep my feet warm because my feet actually <laughs> cool. Okay, let's go. Hi. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really vlogged today and that's because I've not had a good day. Like, I've just really not been feeling good. I've just been struggling, like, up here. Just just one of them days, you know, we been feeling really anxious, really self-critical, low self-esteem, like, you know, I have those days all the time. Um, but today was just like, I just felt really heavy. Yeah, that's why I've not really vlogged, but I went to the gym, I got home from, from work and went and picked up my meal prep. So I get my lunches um, meal prepped because it's just so easy for me. It keeps me eating like actually decent filling whole foods. Um, I'm not spending a ton of money or just eating like crap every day. So I get my lunches meal prepped because it's so easy. So I went to pick those up. Oh yes, I forgot I ordered this. I got P&M's, his P&M soup is like the best. I love it. But I went to pick up my meal prep and then I went to the gym. Uh, first time I've been in the gym since they reopened. But I went because I just thought, honestly, when I'm in this kind of mood where I'm just like really low and sad and stuff like that i feel like if i go to the gym or, or move my body of some sort like just to get it all out i feel like it's like it helps you get all the pent up stuff out of your system so i literally went to the gym and just did like 40 minutes in there did some nice stretches which was nice bypassed asda on the way home and got myself a pizza for tea i'm actually gonna eat a pizza and i'm gonna lie in bed and i'm gonna watch camp rock because that's what's gonna make me happy today i feel like People ask me like, what do you do like on days where you feel like shit? And today's the day I probably feel like shit. And honestly, I would just say, you have to be kind to yourself. You have to be gentle with yourself. You have to be patient with yourself. You know, assess what's going on in your head. Try and find the issue, like the root of what's making you feel like crap. And don't judge yourself. My, I'm, my default reaction is to judge myself and try to like get rid of the feelings of sadness or whatever feeling I'm feeling, get rid of it and that makes it worse like for me when i just accept the feelings and i just let them come and i be gentle and i be kind to myself usually the next day i'll wake up and i feel fine whereas when i really try to stop the feelings and i get on myself like get mad at myself or you know get down on myself about feeling sad or feeling whatever it is i'm feeling it actually lasts longer like days do you know what i mean so you just have to be patient with yourself and kind to yourself so yeah and do things that you know are gonna bring you peace so what's gonna bring me peace is eating pizza in bed watching camp rock i also bought myself some flowers from asda just some flowers some nice roses just four pounds so that's cute um i also just want to say like going to the gym when i left the gym i actually felt 
so much better. And all I did was just walked. Like I wanted to go on a walk, but it's pitch black outside and it's freezing cold. So I just thought, let me just go to the gym and go on the treadmill and just do a walk for 20 minutes. Um, and that actually made me feel so good. Like just because the endorphins that you get after exercising. And the thing is, when you feel like shit, the last thing you want to do is go and exercise or go on a walk or do yoga, whatever it might be. It's honestly the thought of doing it that is worse than the doing it. Because when you're doing it, and I feel like that is just the time for yourself. That like you can listen to a podcast, or you can just listen to your music. And that is honestly the time where you can just be alone and be focusing on yourself. And it actually makes me feel really good. And like, I'm the person, like, when I, I don't want to work out when I feel like shit. And I'm like, always trying to put off working out or just moving my body. And I actually just feel amazing after I do it. So I really need to just stop being a little bitch. But yeah, I've got the oven on, I'm gonna put my pizza in. So yeah, I feel like I'm gonna end the vlog here tonight, but tomorrow I'll be back, probably in a better mood, let's hope. And I'll vlog more my day, but yeah. Morning everyone. I feel better this morning. I'm running late though. <laughs> What's new, I'm always running late. I'm just heading to the gym for my PT session. Yeah, I feel like a bit, a bit better than yesterday, but still, no, 100%. I feel like the, the the weather is reflecting my mood. It's very dull and rainy and cold. Who wants the so rewind? Do you want the rewind? No, Easy. I can't. Yes. Let's go again. <laughs> bubbly, bubbly. I'm so down bubbly. I'm bubbly, bubbly. Ladies, let me see you get down low. Ladies, let me see you get down low. Shoulders, knees, and pose. Head. Shoulders, knees, and toes. The gym is looking mad empty. I said, do you want to say hi to the people? <laughs> there he is. There he is, everyone. Just got back from the gym. It was a good session. We did upper body today, so ugh, arms and that. I'm so tired today. I really feel like emotionally exhausted. But I um, I went to the, I went to the, what's it called? I went to the shop near the gym um, afterwards and it sells loads of like fresh fruit and vegetables and all that kind of stuff. I got some kiwis. Oh, you saw the mangoes they had. They have the sweet mangoes. Oh my God. When the mango looks like this, when it's yellow and red and orange, you just know it's about to be sweet. And this is a Brazilian mango as well. Oh. Some prickly pear. Now, I've only ever had prickly pear like in water, like flavored water. So I'm really excited to actually try a prickly pear. So I got a punnet of them. I'm actually not sure when it's supposed to be ripe. Is it ripe when it's yellow? I don't know. By the time that you're watching this, I'll have probably eaten more. But I'm excited to try this out. I've just had my, had my eggs. Oh my God, did you just see my double frigging yolk? How amazing was that? I'm really trying to like actually look after my hair because usually because it gets so knotty like I just tie it up and I can't be honest with it. That's why you always see my hair up because I just can't be bothered with it. I look crazy. But like I really do want to make the effort to just look after it better. So what I'm going to do right now is just have a little brush through, put some oil in it because it gets super knotty because my routine, what I do at the moment is I wash it. Um, and then when I come out of the shower, I scrunch all the water out and I put a gel through it. So like I scrunch a gel in. That is what gives me the best, like most volume and like curls, waves um, and whatever. But with that, my hair gets super knotty like the days after. So what I want to do is just like really look after it. So I'm going to put a bunch of like um, oils and stuff through to keep it hydrated. So yeah. If I just do this every day, then hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> this is the um, Pantene hair mist that I'm using right now. I really like it because it's a fine mist. Like, on my hair, like, I don't have super thick hair, um, which is why we fake it. But um, I really like it because it just disperses, like, just enough product. But anyway, I did work for them. I did work for Pantene a couple months ago. Um, but, I mean, I genuinely really like the product, so, yeah. I feel like really compelled this morning to tell you all 
you will have seen it on my Instagram stories this morning. Like I put on my Instagram stories, like you actually need to get rid of people in your life that make you question your worth and make you feel like you are just whatever and they just don't appreciate you. You need to get rid of them because it's not good for your self-esteem. But I just think like last night, for instance, let me talk about my, let me talk about myself for a minute. Like last night I blocked someone I blocked someone's number who we have had a, a long tumultuous history no it's not my ex for you people that are thinking that it's not my ex just someone that like doesn't appreciate me doesn't show me effort like just a long-winded story anyway i decided to block i decided to block i decided to block their number which was actually really difficult for me to do because you know what it is you you feel like you don't want to block their number and we all do it and i know exactly why you do it you don't want to block them because you are still holding out on the hope oh but what if they contact me and they realize their mistakes and they change and they do this and they do that and it's not going to happen babe and i'm saying this to you in the nicest way possible it's not going to happen you need to stop holding out on that hope because someone who literally will adore you and worship you is out there but you just need to align with who you are you need to align with who you are and what you want the longer you let yourself and i'm not saying none of us deserve to be treated like shit, right none of us but at some point you have to look in the mirror and take accountability for the part that you play so i have to look in the mirror and say to myself i could sit here and say i get treated like shit all the time by boys why is this always happening to me i never meet nice guys but at some point i have to look in the mirror and say what is my role in this why do i allow myself to be treated like shit why do i not value myself enough to walk away from situations that don't serve me any purpose so you have to be introspective and you have to it's, it's difficult you have to put a mirror up to yourself and see all the things that are you know not your best traits and you have to be okay with that and say you know what but i want better for me and it's difficult a lot of the time people will just carry on in the same toxic patterns because to change is difficult and it's hard and it's 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 yeah it's hard it's yeah like you sit in bed and you cry and, and it's difficult but it's so rewarding to give yourself everything that you deserve and to really appreciate yourself it, it, it's so worth it no matter how hard it is you you have to remember how worth it is you know what i mean you have to put yourself first you have to be selfish with yourself at the end of the day you are in here it's only you you have to love your life and love who you are and if it doesn't make you happy why are you doing it do you know what i mean I'm sorry to get preachy but like i just feel like so many people need to hear this well that's a nice curl i feel like so many people need to hear this and so many people are just treated like shit and it's not your fault to be for someone to treat you like shit it's nothing to do with you and it's not your fault but what is your fault is how how long you stick around or how if you allow someone to keep doing that and keep coming back into your life i was thinking to myself when i was like getting upset and i didn't want to i was hesitating on whether to block this number and i thought to myself why don't you value yourself why you know this is the right thing for you and for your mental health and for you progressing forward and like treating yourself with respect why why don't you value yourself you know what i mean and i thought fuck it no i do value myself i need to it's so difficult isn't it it's so difficult and a lot of you might think that i've got it all figured out and like i have so much confidence and i have the most self-worth and this that and the other and like don't get me wrong i am confident and all them things but it's still a process it's a process that we all have to go through so don't think that like I have no troubles or I'm perfect and I'm so happy and this, that, and the other. Because I go through the same things that you go through. It's just like I am very, very self aware. I'm becoming more self aware and I just want, I just want better for myself these days. I do. So, I mean, my hair is not fully, um, it's not fully un detangled. Let's put some, that was way too much. I got caught up doing some work that needed to be done. But I'm going to head to um, All Body now. Oh, I got that perfume in my mouth. Because the track seats have arrived. The track seats have arrived. This is not a drill. So I just need to check everything. I really want to get um, an oatmeal sweatshirt and put it on. Oh, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to wear it all day because they're so comfy. So now I just need to plan a photo shoot, which is stressing me out in itself because I really want to make it really good, but at the same time, I don't have much time. Mmm. 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 Oh, 
shit. You got like Jenga. Hold on, because all these pants, I'm looking for sand. Sand, anybody? Dust? Yeah, baby. Does this say it? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. These are, I'm going to lose the world to live. I I'm going to lose the world to live. Are you ah! These are t-shirts. I thought that they put sweatshirts on one palette, t-shirts on the next, and joggers on the other. And because I was over there, that one with joggers, that one with t-shirts, I've come here, but open this thinking it's, it's a fucking t-shirt. Does it go there? No, it was on the other side. No, 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 no. <laughs> you've, you've put your camera on my Teflon sheet. <laughs> my Teflon sheet! Right, go on. Christmas as four separate families. We know we shouldn't be doing that, we, but we want to do it. And we want someone to tell us you can do it, which the Prime Minister has done, therefore we feel like we can do it. But we know within ourselves we shouldn't really do it. Do you know what I mean? I've just been filming and taking pictures for a bunch of content that I need to do. For some reason, it's like I don't have any paid work for ages and then it all comes at once. And then I've like got so much to do in amongst like all the other stuff that I'm doing. So. I thought, let me stay home today and box it all off. It's just like, I have like four or five different jobs on at the moment. So, gotta get the work done, do you know what I mean? I'm just waiting now for Alice to come here because I need to shoot a picture, but I can't shoot it on my own. So, Alice is just going to come here and help me shoot it. And then I will, I've got a big to-do list of jobs today. Like, this is my big... Oh, I don't really see it in my big to-do list of jobs. So I might as well do some other stuff whilst I am um, waiting. Actually, my phone's not doing it anymore, but I need to contact Apple about my phone. Cancel, cancel. I need to go see the electrician. There's so much going on. I also need to do some more cleaning. Like, I know you guys saw me cleaning the other day, but... There's still like little bits I need to like take the recycling out, put a wash on, I need to do it actually right now. Such an interesting life, isn't it, girls? But I'm obsessed with this, with this tracky. I'm honestly so obsessed. I'm so happy, it's so cozy. Okay, let me carry on doing my work. I'm gonna actually do something semi-interesting. I'll let you know, girls. So what I want is like, I wanna be sat on the sofa, I might do a little cross-legged and be like, with my thing. Yeah. I'm just thinking how mad it is like life. <laughs> that sounded crazy, but I'm just thinking like it's December, like usually in December. Everyone is out, like everyone's going to parties and Christmas dues and whatever else. And I just think this year, obviously, is so different. And I know this year has been so hard for so many people. People have lost loved ones, people have lost jobs. Oh, it's been a year, you can say that. I don't know, I just feel really grateful to be in the position that I'm in and, you know, be able to keep my family safe and this that and the other it's really funny because literally today you might have seen i was on the phone to my dad 
talking about Christmas and what we're going to do for Christmas. So usually my family gets together. So my mum has um, a lot of sisters. So um, I say a lot, she has four. No, she's not a four. She has three. She has three sisters and one brother. Anyway, we always spend Christmas with my family. So that's me, my mum, my dad, and my brother. Then my auntie, which is my mum's sister, which is her, her husband, and her two kids. And my other auntie, which is my mum's sister again. And that's her, her partner, and their four kids. And my nana and her husband. So, fucking hell, how many people is that? Let me do quick maths. at least 17 18 people on christmas day do you know what i mean and that's what we always do so this year it's like dawning on us that we're not gonna do that um i mean it is allowed boris our prime minister if you're not from the uk our prime minister has said that um you know for christmas i'm actually not sure of the rules so don't quote me on this but you can basically form support bubbles within the few days of Christmas, a certain period of time, so people can spend Christmas together. Um, so technically, something of the sort is allowed. I'm not sure what it is. But my family, you know, have pretty much decided that, you know, we are all just going to have to have Christmas on our own. So that will literally just be me, my mum and my dad. Um, because my brother and his fiance and my nephew um, have decided that they are just gonna have Christmas them three. My uncle has expressed his concerns about us all getting together, especially like because my nana and her husband are, you know, older. Um, they're in their like, how are they? They're nearly 80, I'm sure. Um, and so and my dad is high risk because he, my dad has lung disease. Um, so, you know, it's not it's not great. So although, you know, we're allowed to do these things, my family have decided we're not going to because it's risky. And, you know, what is one year of not doing something to keep everyone safe? You know what I mean? Like we have had so many Christmases before and we're going to have so many Christmases after. Although it's shit, like I love Christmas. I love being with my family. For this year, we're just not going to be able to do it which is sad but at the same time needs must honestly i'm lucky that i you know my family are all local i see my family often even if it's just in passing at a distance you know i'm lucky that i i'm in that position where i do get to see my family i've just got eye cream in my eye but it's just mad like this year's just mad like the changes that like we have made and stuff and i just because i was thinking to myself oh i was just thinking to myself are these vlogs like Oh my god, that burns. I was just thinking, are these vlogs really boring? Because I'm really, honestly, I don't do anything, guys. Like, I literally just go to work. I just do work and I'm at home. And I know some of you guys just love that and you just love me talking and, like, interacting with you guys. And I love that as well. But I, I'm just thinking, like, is it boring? I don't know. But, yeah, I was just thinking about that. I don't really feel like in the... I feel like I'm going to have to do some things to get myself in the Christmas spirit. And now that we've realised it's just going to be me, my mum and my dad on Christmas Day, now I'm thinking I really want to make it special. Like, I really want to go all out. If it, my mum and dad, like, they don't care. But I just want to make it special. So I'm feeling to, like, honestly decorate, like, the whole table, get table presents, like, think of games that we can play, get some games, like... But, like, my parents, where they're at now, they don't really buy each other presents. They've just decided now that, like, you know, they don't really do presents on Christmas. Like, if they do, it's literally, like, one present. So, I'm literally feel to buy them loads of presents. Even though they don't want them or that like, they don't need them. I just, I don't know, I just want to make it special. And I also want to donate some presents as well to, like, some charities or just something for some kids, whether they're in care or... I work a lot with a, a local women's refuge centre. Um, and there's a lot of kids there. So I think I might just go and buy loads of presents for the kids there. Stuff like that. I don't know. This time of year, it's really all about family. And the, I don't, I'm actually going to get emotional. Like, this time of year, it's really just about the people you have around you. Whether that be your family or people that are not your blood relatives, but you would call family and stuff like that. And no one deserves to feel alone this time of year. You know? So if you know someone that is on their own this year and they can't be with their family 
you know just send a thought out there to them and give them some good vibes because it's difficult you know a lot of time we're just in our own bubbles and that is a-okay because life is tough and just navigating it yourself is enough but you know sometimes just having a little thought for other people as well when they're struggling it goes a long way just something as simple as checking up on someone goes a long way TED talk tonight I really will need to sort this tree out and we need to do it this weekend because it's the 9th of December if I don't get it up soon like I just won't get it up all together so I think we need to really I'm saying I like we like we're gonna do it together but I think I really need to on Friday go and buy a tree by will like that needs must just go and buy a tree and decorate it and make my house look festive and maybe oh, I could bake some gingerbread or some I don't know I, just need, I, I really want to do some like fun wintry activities for myself and for my family just to like get this year's been shit like if, if we can make it better by just doing the tiniest little things like building a gingerbread house I'm gonna do it I'm not that much of like a festive -y person but I just feel to do it because it's just gonna bring joy so yeah I've got my notebook. I'm about to do therapy. Today will actually be my 20th session, which is crazy because I feel like I've been doing this forever. Actually, it isn't. It's my 21st session. I'm lying. Morning. I was having a nightmare with my internet. What's new? <sighs> therapy done. I did cry this week. I did cry this week, but that's okay. I feel like I'm really seeing the progress that I'm making recently and it's honestly really encouraging and it feels really good it feels good man it's <laughs> let me tell you it is not easy this healing journey is not easy because you know why it's easy to stay in one place and to not change change is so uncomfortable for us as humans we hate change because it's unfamiliar we like what's familiar that's why we stay in situations that don't serve us any purpose that hurt us because they're familiar i'm saying no changes are coming it's funny because me and my therapist were literally saying that like i'm outgrowing my old self which is like music to my ears I'm not saying that my past self was bad i love myself at all stages but outgrowing those destructive patterns outgrowing just things that don't serve me anymore anyway i'm gonna show you my little five minute face because i'm just gonna put a bit of slap on because i look a bit dead right now i'm gonna sh it's very simple so let me start off moisturize first i have but then again it depends on your skin type i have dry skin so i need to have a moisturized face at all times moisturize your face this part is not essential but i'm gonna do it because i like a bit of glow so i'm just gonna use this becca backlight priming filter so it's basically like a glowy primer um, I'm just using that because I want my skin to look luminous, but you can skip this step, you don't really need to do this. And especially because I'm not going to wear a foundation, this is going to look cute. See, I like this because it's not too much. I like some of those glowy primers and it's literally like friggin highlighter on my face. Do you know what I mean? So what I'm going to do now is go in with some concealer. So this is just a Revolution Conceal and Define. And I'm literally going to put that on. I have, um acne scarring on my chin so i just put it on my chin where my acne scarring is i'll put a little bit like around here and then mainly under my eyes so i'll just do it like in the inner bit here where the bulk of my dark circle is and just like a tiny bit here don't go overboard with the concealer because we're not wearing foundation so i don't want it to look too too mad you can be quite haphazard it really doesn't matter and then i also like go over the rest of my face just to kind of blend it in so it doesn't look like there's stuff here and stuff here but nothing else on the face I also love to use Glossier's um, Stretch Concealer. I've ordered another one of these. I ordered it on Black Friday, but it's not come yet. Um, I love their stuff for like no makeup makeup. So usually I would use this, but it's literally, I'm on the last dregs. But I really like that because it's like quite full coverage, but also really blendable and like 
you don't even know it's there so you can put that on bare skin and it looks really good so sometimes i'll put a bit of that on as well now as you saw last week i get my eyebrows tinted so all i do is put a little bit of brow gel through it now usually i would use the glossier boy brow because that has a tint to it so it's like a brow gel with a tint the one i'm using today is just clear it's just a morphe one but i literally just use that to put my eyebrows up but if you want to put a bit of a pencil through it or whatever i think a brow gel is the best a tinted one um because you know it's adding a bit of definition but at the same time natural so can you see my skin just looks a bit more evened out i'm looking a bit more alive and awake cream blush again i'm nearly out of it i've ordered a new one from glossy and it should be arriving this is the glossier cloud pain in beam this is my favorite it's a beautiful color on my skin tone it just looks so radiant and a little bit of something so i'm literally I'm just gonna get that much this is this lasts for ages by the way this tiny little tube mix it on my fingers okay see so it's like this don't be scared i look like a clown right now i like noddy and then i just tap it in oh i forgot on a step i've just remembered i forgot a step <laughs> so you blend that in like this so it shears out but that might look like nothing to you lot but it honestly makes a big difference i'm also just gonna put a bit of cream bronzer on like this is just my contour but i'm literally just gonna put one dab on maybe two two dabs so literally just not a lot to add a bit of dimension so then i'm just gonna literally you can literally use your fingers for all this i also love the iconic london blushes this one's um in rose riot i also love this one i think i'm gonna put a bit of this one on so this is the beauty crop palm balm in the shade mauve wave so this is like a cream i'm pretty sure you can use it on your eyes and See ya. I'm pretty sure you can use this on your eyes, on your lips, on your cheeks. It's just like a nice pretty pink colour. So I'm literally going to go in and just deepen it out a bit on the, my apples and my cheeks. Ah! Okay, now for a bit of glow. I like the Glossier Halo Scope. I also love this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Wand. Um, this is really nice. But at the moment what I've been loving is this Becca Glow Glaze Stick. So this is literally just a stick see it's barely there you can't even see it it basically just adds a gorgeous sheen it's not glittery which is what i like um when i'm doing like no makeup makeup because you can't tell this is literally just like glazy like it's like a glazed donut kind of thing like it just makes the skin dewy which i love so i'm just gonna put a little bit here a little bit under my eyebrow on my temple nose top of the lip and then just blend it in you know add a little bit of something something there's not too much everyone asks me like oh what mascara are you using your eyelashes look so good honestly i just use um i get my lashes lifted i get lvl so i get a lash lift so they curl up i think it helps so much it lasts forever the last time i got a lash lift was oh let me try and see if i can figure it out it's been six weeks um and they're still really good usually it lasts about eight weeks so i'm getting another one at the end of the month i think so it, the next time I get it done, it will have been eight weeks. So they last two months. So I feel like it's definitely worthwhile, 100%. So I just, at the moment I'm using the Sai mascara. I got gifted this and I really like it. But usually my go-to is Benefit They're Real. I love that mascara. So I'm literally not gonna put too, too much and I'm only gonna put it on my top lashes. So usually I do top and bottom, but because this is quite of a, you know, natural look, I'm just gonna put a bit on the top and then we're literally just gonna do some lip balm and we're done i just feel like this look it's not a lot but it's just like it just makes you feel fresh it's like a very fresh look cool we're done we're done all the christmas trees i'm looking at are out of stock like out of stock out of stock out of stock out of stock stock up there's literally one in Clitheroe which is 12 and a half miles away this like oh everything is literally out of stock out of stock out of stock hey 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 and whenever you let me hit it mm, sweet like honey when it comes to me mm. about to make dinner I get hello fresh by the way guys so we're making this delicious crispy chicken with mushroom van sauce roasted carrots and garlic mash so yeah 
that I don't get paid by these. I literally buy these myself. I love a bit of HelloFresh. Easy, quick, mwah, delicious. I'm gonna charge this because the battery is flashing, it's gonna die. Look how good this looks. Ooh. Just got back from the gym. Um, I woke up late today, so my PT session was at nine. Guess what time I woke up? Guess. I woke up at 8.59, of course I did. So I literally sprung out of bed, got ready in 10 minutes, it takes me 10 minutes to drive there. I tell you what, I'm actually not a fan of like the frothy stuff on coffee. Like, make it go away, I don't like it. Let me tell you all something. This week, I decided to hop back on dating apps. I have not dated for a very long time. And because I've been doing a lot of healing work on myself, it was like, I didn't want to date, do you know what I mean? Like I really just wanted to focus all my time and energy to me and my business. And obviously, cause I'm so busy with work, like I really don't have time to date. I'm really not looking for a partner, like a boyfriend. But you know, at the same time, it's nice to date, isn't it? Isn't it nice to date? So I hop back on the dating apps. I feel like dating apps is <laughs> it's such a hard place. Like I'm very communicative, is that a word? I communicate, so it's like, I have no problems telling people, look, I'm not looking for anything serious. I'm just literally looking to date, get to know people, talk to people, you know, get myself back out there because I have not dated since, like, well, I got out of a relationship around a year ago. And then there's like been things in between, like I was talking to someone at the beginning of lockdown, but obviously couldn't go anywhere and that was that just ended. And then I've been, you know, I've been getting my fix, if that's what you're asking, because it, I got them on speed dial. But actually dating, I've not done it in a really long time. So I feel like I just need to like dip my toe in the water. Like just like get back out there a little bit. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I'm like very obsessed with these mangoes. I need to go back. I should have gone this morning really. I'll go tomorrow and buy some more. Hope, to be honest though, they might not have any because they kind of sell out of these quite quick whenever they have them. I had one the other day and it was <laughs> so good. So I'm actually just gonna, this is how I'm gonna eat it because I don't want any of it to go to waste. For so long, I used to be like, not know how to cut mangoes because obviously the seeds in the middle and cut it this way and cut it that way. Honestly, the best way is just to friggin' eat the whole thing. Just peel it and eat it, honestly. Kind of messy, but definitely the most satisfying way to eat it like mm. look at it i'm gonna go out now and get my christmas tree yay I need to go pick it up um it's already like made because i don't know if i told you yesterday they called me up and they said the one that i ordered was the last one that they had and it's the display one so they're giving it me for like a discounted rate and I'm just gonna put it in my car and go and do that. So yeah, I'm gonna go pick that up. This is my outfit, I feel cute today. You guys know I literally, cause I just work every day, I don't actually like look cute. I literally just wear like sweats or like workout clothes cause I've probably been at the gym that day. So I feel cute today. This top is PLT. These jeans are PLT. I don't think they're in stock anymore, but I love them. Jordan's on the feet and this ASOS coat. I got this earlier in the year, but it's just like so big that I feel like I should have got a size lower because it's just, you know when something looks too big and it's just like too too much? And then my off-white bag that I always wear. So, let's go get the Christmas tree. Hello, sweet pies. It's Saturday. Now, I haven't really vlogged this morning because I just thought the main bulk of today's vlog is gonna be my Christmas tree. So I managed to get it up the stairs. It really was not hard to get up. So it's like pre-lit Christmas tree. So I've literally just whacked it here and it folds up and down. So you literally like pick it up like this, like it all folds together. So there is the tree. I think it does not look so bad. It's looking like a bit sparse, but obviously I want to get the decorations on. And like obviously I can see through it right now. So I think I need to like pull out the branches a bit so they look, it looks more fluffed up, you know? I've got all my decorations out. These are just the ones I used last year. So I'm gonna put them on and then see if I like it. And if I need more, I can always go to Home Sense or something tomorrow. Right now I'm going to, um, as there's just to do my food shop, I need to get a bunch of stuff. And what I'm gonna do it is, so in the package that Nasty Girl sent me a couple weeks ago, in the package that Nasty Girl sent me um, a week or so ago, it came with this mulled wine kit. So this is just spices. So I'm gonna get a bottle of red wine. I'm gonna make a mulled wine. We're gonna decorate the tree while I'm drinking mulled wine whilst I watch a Christmas movie. Like, come on, is that not cute? Being 
single and carrying shopping should be a friggin' extreme sport, mate. We did the food shop. I also, when I was like, hello? Now we're time to unpack the shopping. Oh my no! Me freaking blueberries have opened up in my bag. Let's try and salvage this. Do you want a grocery haul? I feel like some of you might think that's cute. I don't know. Oh my god, me freaking blueberries. Candles. More candles. More candles. As my mum would say, four candles. We have a bag full of blueberries. Yo Valley yogurt. Greek yogurt with honey. Ooh. Your life will change when you try this. Villa Maria Sauvignon. Me and my mum love a New Zealand Sauvignon. Might just come to New Zealand just to drink Sauvignon wine. Not gonna lie. Blueberries, raspberries, sweet clems, lemons, ice, milk. I drink a lot of coffee, iced coffee specifically. We have to get the juice, pineapple and orange. More wine. Chewing gum. Capri Sun. Toilet roll. Kitchen roll. Oh my god, were well, crisps were on three for two. Snacker Jacks, pop chips, and hula hoops puffed. I'm a snacker me, so I need to have like snacks at all times. So that's why I keep like, you know, bits of fruit and whatever. But also we need to keep some crisps. Let's not lie to ourselves. I love these. These New York bakery. They're bagels, but they're like thin ones. Also felt like pushing the boat out and giving myself some packed lunch treats. I got a bit of sunny fruit mix-ups, apricot and mango. This is something that a five-year-old would eat, but I thought, let me just align with that. Again, same thing, animal crackers. I used to get these when I was in school. I'm a snacker. Eggs, tuna. If you get tuna in brine, you're dirty. I don't care. Prawns, baby bells, mozzarella, Philadelphia, bit of cheese, bit of a lemon yogurt, salmone. My local Asda has just got a vegan and plant-based like section of an aisle, like a lot of stuff. And I saw the other day, and I got these the other day, and they're called the Quirky Plant-Based Puffs Vegan Cheese. Now, obviously, as you can tell, I'm not vegan. I eat, <laughs> I eat a lot of dairy and fish and whatever, but. I just like to dabble from time to time. Like I think it's good to make little changes. And I did veganuary early in the year and I really enjoyed it. But anyway, these are really nice. So they're like these giant puffs. I don't know if they're made out of chickpeas or what. They taste nice for like vegan, vegan cheese crisps. These are the best dairy-free chocolate bars. The Vigo, I don't know if it's pronounced like that. The best, this one and this one. Oh my goodness. This is like an almond white chocolate and this is like a milk chocolate with massive like chunks of hazelnut in. So good. And I also got some of these. I'm low-key gonna try and see if I can get these on Amazon like um, in bulk because I like them that much because they're kind of expensive. They're like £1.50 each. Like that's expensive. That's really expensive. So I love Pippa Nut peanut butter and almond butter. So I'm gonna see if I can get like a big bulk pack of these because I love them. So they're basically peanut butter cups and almond butter cups. So I got one of each. They're very, very nice. I decided to push the boat out and I got myself some um, tea cakes, fruit tea cakes, hot cross buns, whatever you wanna call it. Because I saw these, I went to my mum's the other day and I saw these and I thought, oh. That's a bit of me, and I've not had a fruit tea cake in a very long time. My parents love a fruit tea cake, and it's just so underrated, like, mm, on a night time with a brew. Oh, the Americans are probably watching this like, what the fuck is that? That's what grocery haul, cook a bit of food, and then we're gonna do the tree. Also, let me just preface this by saying, this isn't my full, full, full food shop. <laughs> like, I don't just eat snacks. I get meal preps for my lunches. So I, I get ready-made, like, lunches that I pick up on a Sunday. And I do HelloFresh for, like, dinner time food. So, yeah. So whenever I go to the supermarket, I just buy the things I need, like, snacks and fruit, like, breakfasty stuff and milk and whatever else. So don't worry. This is <laughs> I don't just eat <laughs> fruit tea cakes and crisps all week. I have proper meals as well. <laughs> I'm filming a TikTok. Look, you can't see it. But mold wine. Okay. Ooh, nice. So, are you ready for the grand reveal? How? Look how lovely it looks in here. 
like we have the candles burning the flowers okay so i'll put this up here <laughs> looks a bit odd not gonna lie but my um <clears throat> my dad's auntie knit um makes these but she's like kind of like my auntie do you know what i mean i call her auntie but it says noel and she makes these like she's very crafty so she makes like things like this every year and gives them to us so i got this a few years ago here it is Here's my tree, I'm not gonna lie. My star wouldn't fit on top, like it was too heavy, so it kept toppling over. So I'm gonna have to go and buy a star maybe tomorrow morning, just something for the top so it's finished off. And maybe some something for the bottom, and I don't know, it kind of looks a little bit bare, so I might get some like ribbons or something to put on it, something cute. But for, for like the initial dressing of the tree, it's really not bad. So all my baubles are like silver and gold. Very cute, my mum bought me these ones. I don't know where she got them from, but they're so cute. It's a little Father Christmas, and there's a reindeer down there. This one, Nasty Girl gave me, it says my name. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Emma, which is very cute. And yeah, so I just need to get a star for the top. I called my mum and I was like, oh, I've done my tree. I was talking to her about the star at the top. She was like, oh, it's a bit skinny, isn't it? I was like, mum, this is the only tree I could find in the whole of Lancashire. Don't tell me it's skinny because I really didn't have an option. I think it's adorable. I love it. I'm very happy with it. I'm feeling very Christmassy. I'm going to maybe get a stocking to put on here. I'm drinking my mulled wine. You know, it's a good time. I also put a Christmas film on while I was doing it. So we have the holiday playing. I'd love to see it.